and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Alana, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a tattoo tour, much to my mother's dismay. <laughs> so in total, I currently have nine tattoos, which sounds like a lot, but I feel like it's not. <laughs> so I only have black line work and like black shading because I don't want to do color. That's just not my thing. And also, every single one of my tattoos is on this half, my right side of my body, which some people are like, why not put some on the other side? And I'm like, because I don't want to. The only one that's kind of in the middle is the one that's here on my sternum. And this one honestly hurt the most. However, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> Let's start with the first tattoo I ever got. So the first one that I got was here on my wrist, and it is February 12th, 2012, and that is the day that my dad passed away. And sometimes I kind of regret getting this tattoo just because when people ask about it, they get all awkward because of how people act about death in our society. But at the same time, I really like it because it's opening up a conversation about death and how I view my dad's death and how it actually kind of led to where I'm at in my life today. But that's that tattoo. That was the first one I ever got. I was 18. <laughs> And I actually went into the tattoo shop to get a second hole pierced in my ears. The piercer wasn't there that day, and I said, fine, give me a tattoo. The next tattoo I ever got was this one right here. It's honestly the most visible one, because anytime I go to take a photo of myself, like, you can see it in the mirror. And this one is supposed to be a marigold, which is the flower of the month for October, which was the month that my dad was born. So it's kind of like my dad's birthday and my dad's death day and it's on my right wrist because I feel like he's always kind of guiding me in the right direction whether you believe in heaven or spirit or afterlife or whatever yeah that's just kind of how I view the symbolism in those two tattoos and I got this one when I was 19 what was next oh the next one that I got was this one on the back of my shoulder this is the one that I actually forget about the most, which you can clearly see because I just forgot about it, but it is a crescent-shaped moon with the national flower of Thailand, and I got this when I was 20 um, on my birthday, the year after I went to Thailand. That was kind of my intention behind my tattoos moving forward, was kind of all travel and like nature inspired and not so much deep. <laughs> after that one on my shoulder, I got this one the flowers that wrap around my right thigh. Honestly, the inner thigh is comparable to the sternum because it hurt really badly, but these flowers are all Arizona wildflowers, and so that's kind of the significance behind them is that Arizona is truly my home, and so I really love spring in Arizona. That's probably my favorite season because of how the wildflowers are, and it's not quite too hot yet, <laughs> so that is one of my favorite tattoos. I'm going to say that about most of the rest of the ones that I have because they were all done by the same artist, and I love her so much. I will leave her information down below if you are a Tucson local, but so she did that flower band, then next she did this tricep tattoo, and honestly, this is the one that I get comments on the most, because it's the saguaro bloom with the saguaro cactus, moon, prickly pear, and the mountains, and when I think of Arizona, this is what I think of as home, because I didn't grow up where there were saguaros, but I moved out to go to university, and when I moved to university, I moved to Tucson, and there's tons of mountains and saguaros there. So I got the saguaro and the flowers at the same time, and that was in 2020, like right as the pandemic was starting, so I got like the outline of my thigh tattoo, and then I had to just wait with only the outline for like a month and a half before she let me come back. Oh, <sighs> good times. But then the following year, I went back to the same artist and I was like, hey, I want something on my shoulder. And this is what she did. So it's half a sun, half a moon, and it kind of represents just the balance of each energy in life and how in order to live a good life, you have to live a life of balance. And I got that one at the same time as I got this sternum tattoo. The sternum tattoo, I didn't explain what it was earlier. It's the symbol of breath in Sanskrit in the yogic language and I just think that having the symbol of breath right over my lungs is just always a reminder to me like how important and powerful the breath is and if you haven't read the book Breath by James Nestor, highly recommend. I mentioned that in my 10 books for mental health video but yeah I got those two at the same time and then my final round <laughs> of tattoos I went in before I came here and I got 
this other one on my forearm, which is also written in Sanskrit. It is a mantra, which reads Om Gam Ganapateya Namaha, which is basically a mantra. It's a Ganesha mantra, who is thought of as the destroyer of obstacles, and I just think I've listened to this mantra so many times and it's a good reminder that like even though there are obstacles in life like you can destroy them like you can push past them and you can truly make a life that you love and you don't have to get stopped by the obstacles. So that's kind of the significance behind that one. I guess that one's more deep as well. I guess this forearm is reserved for deep tattoos. <laughs> and then the last one that I got is the tattoo of the Rocky Mountains on the back of my thigh. And I just really wanted a tattoo in this place on the back of my thigh. One of the yoga teachers that I met, Jenna, she has, I think it's a moth tattoo in that place and it's just mm, so good. So. I wanted something there and after my summer in Colorado I wanted some snow-capped mountains because being from Arizona I had never seen snow-capped mountains during the summer and that was just so cool to me so I got it tattooed on me so who knows what tattoo I will get next maybe I'll get some inspiration while I'm here in Nicaragua we'll see sorry mom sorry grandma but if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments do you have any tattoos how many do you have and if you haven't already be sure to subscribe down below that really helps me out and i hope to see you again in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.